Libra. What it be, bruh? It is me, bruh. It is she, bruh. It is Vibra. It is Scorpion, bruh. It's Tarot. And I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed, my darlings. We are in this bitch. To find out what the energies are for you. For March 2021, baby, we in here to have some fun because the party has just begun, baby. Oh, yes, the blessings are just starting to roll in. How many of y'all are starting to feel like you in the beginning of the best part of your life, okay? All right? That's what I feel. And that's how everything is popping over on this end, okay? On the sunny side of the street, y'all. So we just going to continue to call it in and just claim glory over it. In the name of Jesus, Shalala, okay? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, oh. okay, Shalala, okay? Give it a little extra shake. Hold on. <laughs> so listen. Uh, I want to give a shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, to every last one of my babies who just like, share, subscribe, click these videos, show me any type of love. If you want to book a personal or private reader or if these videos resonate and you want to, you know, send some love over here to my channel to help us grow over here. Um, go ahead and click the description box of this video and check the about tab on my YouTube page. It gives the pricing lists, the various ways to support and the best way to contact me is by Instagram message. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, shoot me an email at scorpionrez at gmail.com. All right. So we're going to do like we always do. We're going to give Father God, the universe, the creator, whatever it is that you want to call him. We're going to give him praise, acknowledgement, and thanks, you know, for everything that we have and where we currently stand. Amen. Amen. All right. So, Father God, thank you so much for waking us up this morning and wrapping your gracious warm arms around the sign of Libra, Father God. We are so balanced. We are so faithful. We have been so patient, Father God. And we are just so, 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 so just open. You know, our arms are like open doors, Father God. We are so receptive to just all of the opportunities that you have planned for us, Father God. We know that everything that has been going on is in divine time, and it's all in your plan, Father God. That's why we don't ask no questions. We just do what you tell us to do. When you say it's time to go, it's time to go in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, Father God, we just here to just thank you again just for, you know, creating us just unique and just amazing the way that we are, Father God. We thank you for all the lessons and all of the blessings that you place in our life father god and we thank you so much for setting us forth on this journey to greatness all right so please give us the guidance that we're looking for today for the sign of libra is there anything you know that we need to know on this journey to keep us strong is there anything that we need to be aware of is there anything that we need to plan for father god just you know whatever it is that you see fit to give us guidance for today you know just let us know in the name of jesus we thank you so much for everything that you have given us in the past present and future amen amen and amen all right let's get into this you guys so we got uh, the tea leaf cards. Y'all know y'all love these. So we just going to get into this. We're going to do three over here and three over there. And we're going to see what pops out for y'all for this, you know, general energy. So give me guidance for my Libra for March 2021. Thank you so much. Libra. Give me guidance for Libra. Give me guidance for Libra 2021. March. Oh, that's a lot. Put that back. Oh, I see. Okay. You got the pig. You got the crack cut. Oh, it's just a lot. Okay. Okay. So you got the pig. Beware of greed and the crack cut. Dissatisfied with life. And then I seen something in there about a fair man. But I put it back. I don't, okay, so it's saying like a multicultural man. Someone possibly with like light eyes, light brown eyes or something like that. Hmm, let's see what this has to say. You got the needle and thread, the crown, tanker, and the rooster. So someone's, someone's not behaving the way that you want them to. It says uh, the crown, honor and respect will come to you. A sincere wish will be granted. Then it says tankard. Celebration, fun, enjoyment. Going out, partying, having a few drinks and things like that. So there's, there's a... Acknowledgement of placement. Like, or certifications. I don't know. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like certifications. 
I don't know if you are um, about to finish your certifications or something or I don't know why I'm getting certifications. And with that needle and thread, I feel like you were sewing something together. It's like you were threading something. You pull them from one end to bring. It's like you bring in something together to bring one masterpiece. So I don't know if you guys are like into like. Um, I don't know if you guys. I don't want to say like tapestries. But I am like literally seeing like a tapestry or like someone sewing skin together. I don't know if it's like. Um, Ew, that's nasty. Um, ooh, that's nasty. I'm getting like, um, I'm getting like mortuary school. I don't know why I'm feeling like I'm seeing someone going to like mortuary school or, um, something to do with people sewing up skin and like, uh, I, I would like being in a doctor's office. It's somebody that likes to do shit with surgeries and, and stuff like that. Ew. I don't know, because that shit creeped me the fuck out. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's creeping me the fuck out but I feel like someone is like getting their certifications this year or they're like almost finished or they're about to be crowned they're about to get some type of certifications and they're about to go out and celebrate or something like that it has to do with some type of certification with their job title some type of law like having some type of legal status to be able to do something now and like someone's very excited but with this rooster right here it says an arrogant and boastful person you should not cross dissatisfaction with life and beware of greed I don't know if this is talking about you because if this is talking about you then what this is saying to me, this is someone that is not appreciative for what they have. And it's like, you have this status or you have the certifications that other people don't have. Like, you have a career, you get to party and have this lifestyle. But, like, this is someone that's too proud for that, feels like whatever they have is not enough that, you know, like, I'm getting like a dis okay they're saying like a disruptive attitude it's like I want what I want and if I can't get what I want then it's just like you'll start cracking on other per like bidding on people joining and like putting other people down and like Cause you got this crown and you got these certifications and you could party and live this lifestyle and maybe other people can't and because you didn't get what you want in a certain situation so it, instead of you just feeling bad it's like you'll make other people feel, feel bad by pointing out their imperfections that are lower than what you have do you understand what I'm saying so if this is all just one person I'm reading it like that if this is two separate people here, there's somebody here that is getting some type of satisfaction in life because they've worked hard for that merit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yet there's someone else that is clearly dissatisfied with life. They could possibly need to stop drinking. Like, okay, so what I'm getting here is like this is someone that... um kind of let their life like aimlessly unravel and like really try to do nothing to stop things or whatever like they could have developed a drinking problem or something like that where it's like at this point in their life they need to stop and then they're watching someone else who did better things in life and had better choices um getting the place of position being able to celebrate wear beautiful fabrics uh uh hang around the higher echelon of society and do all of these things that they want to do you know what i'm saying and it's like they look at this person with jealousy you know they look at this person with jealousy with this greed here it's like um again it's like someone that doesn't realize the current influence that they could have in life if they would just fix certain things about their self it's like they look over there they they want that you know what i'm saying it's like 
gluttony. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to take care of what you got first instead of focusing so much on what is going on over there with them. You know? Um, an arrogant and boastful person that you shouldn't cross. So, like, this energy that's just coming off right here is just, um, mm -hmm. I feel like this is someone that would tell you secrets if they know it. Like, if they just decided they don't like you no more, it would just be like night and day with this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they would really... I, I'm like, I'm really getting like someone would, would like really rat on you or talk bad about you to like other people. Like, you know, because they're, they're dissatisfied with life because they're greedy. They want what they got and what you got too. Like, they feel like... They deserve what other people's blessings are. Do you get what I'm saying? And like you got y'all got to be careful because these are the type of people that you don't want in your life. Everybody is really not your friend. They'll be your friend for a part time until they see you bossing up and certain things coming and, and being blessed with that. You being blessed with certain things in their life that they're now all of a sudden jealous of, you know, and now all of these things, they got all these things to say about you. To, but where where the fuck did this shit come from? Like, you've been hanging with me. You've been my friend all this time. Now, all of a sudden, because you seeing me, I'm about to graduate. And I just got a new position. And I'm being crowned. And I'm celebrating. And, and my celebration should not make you feel dissatisfied. It make, should not make you feel fucked up about your life. You should be celebrating with me and being happy for me. Everybody not like that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when they see certain people come come up, they they want you to come down with them. You know? So that's that's what I'm getting. And I'm gonna have to move those cards like that because that's definitely because we got we gotta keep that shit 100 right there, babes. I'm so sorry about that. Mm -hmm. There's somebody here. It's like either they're their own first enemy, or there's somebody that's very blessed right now that is Sitting on a certain level of statue and there's somebody at the bottom watching them go their way up. And it's like now all of a sudden they have it up their ass that they want to destroy this person because they think that they should have what they got. What is this? Personal growth. Number seven means seclusion to me. That I means someone's doing something by themselves on their own time, using their own force to bring together what they've been praying for, what they have faith in the number of seven represents like faith to me, spirituality, higher recognition that, you know, things are just bigger than what you just see, you know, at your eyes reach. Things are bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? You got to have faith. You got to take some time to yourself. You know, to develop yourself, you know, so that's the, that's this personal growth right there. That's why that crown. That's why that crown is purple. That's that self-acknowledgement. That's you putting that energy in yourself. <laughs> you know, what does it say? Honor and respect will come to you. You damn right. Personal growth. Shout out to whoever you are over there, all up in the Libra gang gang. You know, y'all go ahead and put some unicorns down there in the chat. If this is you right here with this, you know, to, you know, us unicorns, you know, you know, we like us some purple and pink. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. Let's get some guidance over here for this crack cup and this rooster. Because I'm really hoping that this is a separate bit right here. But for some people, it's one person all together. And for some people, it's two separate individuals. So we're going to see. Give me guidance about this roost to the pig. And the crack cup. Mm. This manifestation was already up. But I'm going to go ahead and take that for them. But you know what? I did say that the... um. I did say the unicorns was purple and pink. And then you had got the seven and eight. So this is definitely from, listen. My unicorns over here. Y'all not playing. Y'all not playing at all. Because I didn't even realize that this was about to come out. For real, for real. But this is, I really do feel like this is all you. I can't even give that over there. Because they don't deserve that. <laughs> this personal growth and manifestation. 
the honor coming to you. And then the needle thread says a sincere wish will be granted. Tell me that's not you. Come on. Come on, Libra. Libra gang gang. Don't even play with my Libra. Y'all already know Libra. What is he? What it be? Let's find out what's going on with this rooster chicken head ass, clucking head ass. Oh yeah. <laughs> A dirty foot ass, crusty butt ass, no dick having ass, <laughs> mama daddy having ass, issue having ass, hope, yeah, uh, spirituality and physical activity, hmm, hmm, so it sounds like someone needs to get their self together, whoever this is over here, all right, sounds like you need to get yourself together. You need something to believe in. That's this person's problem. It's like they don't believe in nothing. They don't have the level of faith and the level of like self-preservation and dedication that this other person has put into their life to manifest the things that they have spoken over their life. You know, this is someone needing to take. Listen, whereas though you just had to take one step towards that personal growth. Oh, this motherfucker got to do a double time with the seven seven. Do you understand? <laughs> you got to put extra energy into that, honey. Do you understand? You need to really tap into your spirituality, baby. And you need to really, you know, get to know God on a personal level. On a personal level. You can't look at another person and question or, you know... Turn your nose up at the blessings that they got over there. And, and you don't even know that this person's personal relationship with God is like this. That's why I love that song. It's the God in me. Listen, they think we so fresh. They think they we so um, clean. But what is it that you think you see in me? They don't know how much I pray. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, please go listen to that song by Mary Murray. It's the God in me. That's what you need. You need spirituality. You need faith. You need something to believe in. You need to get to know the Lord Jesus Christ on a personal level if you want to see change in your in your life. And you need to take physical action. You need to actually act on it. You understand? You need to understand and you need to speak it in your life and you need to act on it. You can't just say, oh yeah, I'm going to do this. No, you need to act on it. Okay? You need to make movements. <laughs> okay? You need to work out, okay? You need to burn off some of that, you know, energy in a positive way. Burn off some of that negative energy. Do something positive with yourself. Get your body moving. <laughs> Hold up, you know? But shoot, child. And I ain't even about to sit here and be doing no two separate readings and shit like that. So I'm about to just let you know, whoever that is, they need they need the spirit of Jesus <laughs> to come into that life and get themselves together. Because you shouldn't be like that, the rooster, a pig. And a crack cup. Honey, that's unfortunate. That is too unfortunate. Oh, my niece is here. Okay. Anyway. So let's see what we got here. We got the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Alright, so listen. Looks like someone is um coming up a little short on the money. I feel like someone may be going back to school. I feel like someone may need to. I feel like someone maybe wants to go back to school but may not have the money, may not have the finances, may not have the resources. This is someone feeling like they may be in over their head in debt, like they may be suffering in some type of financial ruin. And I, I'm seriously feeling like someone is tired of like not meeting ends me or just making enough to pay the bills and not able to do anything else to like buy them any clothes to go take their kids out to go on vacations it's like you just making enough to pay the bills you know and it's, i'm tired of living like that you know it's like I don't know, it's like false hope that things are going to change because there's so much like financial debt or so much, uh, you know, um, 
things going on with their finances that people don't understand and it's like how can I have an awakened mind how can I have a sense of belief when I have so much pressure going on you know so I definitely feel like this one over here with the crack cup that may be something that that person is dealing with and then at the same time over here with this person I definitely feel like this person may be coming out of uh, a situation where they have learned and have educated themselves, but there's definitely some fi there's financial debt. That's all I'm saying. Like there's financial debt, um, but at the same time, I feel like education is the key. Like don't, and then you could get grants. You could get so many. You gotta look into your resources to see what it is that you could do. If there's some free classes or something that you could just do for right now for the meantime in between time but just do something like it says physical activity you have to physically do something to change your situation what is this here you got the emperor i like this so the emperor is like a supervisor like a boss like a leader um this is someone that literally does take charge and takes responsibility and takes care and is a positive influence on everybody this is a protector you know, this is someone like an emperor is someone that, um, you know, keeps their eye on the kids, like takes the, the boys to soccer practice, like as a very good father. Um, this is someone that like the kings come to for, um, uh, it's like one of the king's advisors. Do you understand on military strategies and things like that? So I feel like this person here may be somewhat... Uh, I don't want to say envious, but I do feel like there's some level of um, envy over a level of power and hierarchy. Like this person wants to be a leader. This person wants to be powerful. This person wants to be known for something. This person wants to be the person that people come to when they're in need, when they're in trouble. You know what I'm saying? And like this is how this person either idolizes their self to be looked at or this is what they're striving for or something like that and I don't know what this crap cup with this dissatisfaction in life or whatever I don't know if this person uh because because I don't know if this is like a I don't know if this is like a supervisor or something like that because now that I'm looking at this with the emperor falling over here, um, with the rooster, an arrogant and boastful person you should not cross. If you think about that in aspects with the emperor, the emperor, so if this is the emperor in the upright, if this was the emperor in the reverse, this could be someone most definitely that could um, throw in their power. And authority around in a negative way you understand so this this person is in the upright for right now but it's something about this falling over here with this rooster and this pig beware of greed it's something about this where I feel like this energy could turn around real quick like this person is positive right now it may be a good because the emperor could be a supervisor this could be like your boss or something like that and i i don't know I'm, I'm getting the story of someone like barely making ends meet here it's like someone barely making ends meet i need to expand i need to we need to find out what's going to give me more information on this because I know this story is kind of jumping around here, but probably not. This probably all is going together for everybody. No, and it's just like they're moving on. This person moving on. There was like a dissatisfaction with status, with recognition, but because the Nine of Pentacles is like, man, look, I, I worked hard. I, I, I deserve, uh, you know. To have a certain level of satisfaction. Like the Nine of Pentacles is someone that is living a very, you know, luxurious, very comfortable and abundant life. You understand? Like they worked hard for everything that they have and they live a very, very beautiful life. Blessed with many, many gifts. This is someone that is very giving. You know, what I'm getting in this Nine of Pentacles, this is someone that's feeling like they're being taken advantage of and robbed. And like this is someone, I feel like... um. 
like being taken advantage of like someone even taking recognition for my work not giving me the title that I should be assigned to based on the type of work that I do on a day to day basis it's like y'all are playing with me here you know um, and again what this is saying here because now I'm, this is going over to some work stuff for me now uh, again this is a very powerful person and they're cool right now but if they feel dissatisfied with you, you know, beware because this person feels that they're an arrogant and boastful person that you should not cross. So, like, it's something about don't come asking them for no more money, you know, because they'll look at it like you're being dissatisfied and greedy and, like, they may fire you or something like that. I don't know. It's like, it's, it's, I don't trust that emperor like that. Like, I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. Because this person needs to put a lot of physical activity into their spirituality and belief. And they need to work on itself a little bit more than you. And I definitely feel like you may be dissatisfied with something. You may need more. And things are coming to you. This Five of Cups is basically saying, like, you're not focused on what this person or what this situation is going to give to you or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not going to give me the recognition at this job, I'm just going to move the fuck on. Like, I'm not about to sit here and keep crying. And, like, I done came to you, like, two or three times before and I asked you for a raise or to change my title. Like, fuck it. I, like, the second time, I didn't even ask you for no fucking money. I just asked you to change my title. Can I at least get the recognition uh, for the position that I'm doing? Like, the fuck? How long I been working here with you? What? I'm not like because it's something about the continuation of not being paid what you deserve, uh, being stepped on, looked over, and put down for someone else to fill up. You know what I'm saying? But guess what, bitch? When I'm up, bitch is stuck. Okay? When it's up, when it's up, when it's up, then it's stuck, bitch. When I walked away, when I walk away, and I decide I don't want to accept your pennies no more, you can take that shit and shove it up your ass, bitch. I'm going to put it to you like this. When I look up, bitch, it's stuck. I ain't worried about none of that shit you talking about no more, mo. You can have all of that motherfucking shit. I'm, I'm good, but I'm gone. Because I can go get that recognition and all that shit somewhere the fuck else. And guess what? They did. Personal growth manifestation a sincere wish will be granted to you honor and respect will come to this person with the crown excuse me and they out there celebration and having a good fun because they just got this goddamn certification and all of this stuff like what what listen when it's up it's stuck baby i'm gonna show you that's how unicorns do shit i'm trying to tell you don't don't ever ever and I mean the fuck ever play with goddamn Libra, bitch. You gotta stop that. What? <laughs> but ooh. Ugh, give me guidance here, because we ain't even about to go into all of that. Okay, so what is this? You got the stars. And again, you see that ship, like again, do you see those stars? So like this is someone like again knowing that they're a star. I always take that as someone knowing that, that, that they're a star. Wishes being granted, that's their faith. That's their faith. You see that, that boat there? Selling on, moving on. What is this here? The six of hearts represent like, um, it represents like the masculine energy. I want to say it kind of represents like, uh, courting and just like um an interest in someone flirting type of thing like that oh and then you got the whip honey Ooh, child you got the stars and then you got the whip so like the whip means like um it can mean one of two things it can mean one or two things. So, like, I don't know why I'm feeling like, um, why do I feel like someone is known for, like, their sexuality, like, um, like, 
lingerie. Oh, remember I was saying like someone was like making stitching something or something. I don't know why I feel like someone is like um like they've been wishing to start like some type of um a boutique line or something like that like fabric like clothes like lingerie like a lingerie store like sexy sexy garb and stuff like that like because i'm seeing like someone like pulling those little sexy little thigh high stockings up and you know like i'm really i'm getting like a dominatrix or um like like a, a, a only fans like dominatrix sensation or something like someone having some type of notoriety or star power or something like that um it's like tantric sex uh oh goodness like it's like classes or something like that i don't know why i'm getting like um it's like a star of the group or something like that. It's like the leader or something. I don't know why I'm getting that. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's like you might have stepped out and um, I'm getting, I'm serious. I'm getting like leather and just like, just like the things with the titty things and, and just like um, burlesque. Uh, I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Wow, that's on so something totally different. Ooh. <laughs> totally different. I'm sorry. Libra, y'all got me so intrigued. <laughs> y'all got me so intrigued. But the whip can mean like punishment. It can be like abuse or something like that. But I'm not getting it in this way at all. Cause I feel like I feel like it's someone that lo loves the attention, that loves um I'm getting like this is someone that loves the attention like when they are sexy, when they dress in sexy lingerie or um, I, I want to even say like they may wear a mask or something. So it's like they feel more comfortable to kind of just like do whatever it is that they want to do and touch and move and be whatever. They feel more freer or something like that. Oh, and then you got the Jack of Clubs. <laughs> so, like, a Jack of Clubs is somebody that wears, like, a costume or, like, a uniform, like, legitimately. Like, this is someone that um actually has, like, someone that wears a fucking name tag or something. Um. Mmm. Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Why y'all got me so freaking like intrigues here? Let me go to my cardamancy shit. Okay, hold on. So let me see. The six of hearts. The six of hearts means a love relationship. It means uh friendship, emotional security, gallantry courting faith trust compassion emotional connection a past life or soul connection a masculine energy a male lover a brother son a bachelor an unmarried man anything generally associated with the male gender such as a box a toolbox a tie facial hair etc now the jack of clubs means a hard-working, honest, sincere young person. He is a busy, active young person. Most often a male. He is clever and enterprising. He enjoys sports and participating in school or community football, baseball, soccer. He could represent an employee and often denotes a young acquaintance from work. Or he could be a close friend or business associate associate who's going to be useful to the inquirer in some way he may wear a uniform that symbolizes his work or rank ciao mm. <laughs> y'all oh my goodness and let me just go right here for the whip because i know the whip okay so the whip the whip signals tensions, quarrel, trouble, or strife. It also symbolizes punishment and abuse. Repetition is key with the card. Violence and aggression are also suggested, but also vigor and energy. The whip can induce pain, but when paired with the heart, it can represent lustful sex 
with the tower corporate or legal punishment suggested right okay so and again this is number 16 so this is the stars the stars represent the wish coming true these are lucky stars um it can represent historical magic divine guidance purity um clear vision direction navigation are symbolized um as in in the north the north star um blah 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 anyway so hold on i'm sorry y'all i'm so sorry because i'm like i need some more that's not the definition that i am looking for my dear because like the whip means like i know it means all of that type of stuff but it does have to do with like I want to say it has to do with like temptation because like when I seen that shit, it just hit me just like, oh, somebody's just like, OK, it says the whip represents hardship, arguments, conflict, suffering, purging, abuse, anger, pain, repetition, addictions, physical activity, sexual, sexual chemistry, passion and intensity. OK. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm like, I know I'm not fucking tripping. I don't know why I was getting, like, tantric sex, like a sex star or whatever. Anyway, let me shut the fuck up. Okay, I'm sorry. I just... Y'all just let me do it. I'm sorry. Let's see. All right, so let me see. Clarify this. The stars in the whip. What is this? The princess of Diz. I'm trying to tell you... <laughs> You guys might have found like a brand new enterprise, like something that you're good at and that's making you like a little bit of coin. This is something that's new. Maybe something that you never thought of. Like the princess of this is like literally like a new opportunity to do something lucrative that you can see something that is going to bring, you know, some pocket change to you. Something that you're good at. Something that you have skill. You can see some growth in this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't... I don't think that... Uh, I don't think that you've seen things moving in this way. But I just feel like someone... You just have, like, some type of natural gift in... Um, I want to say being free sexually. Either helping people feel comfortable with their sexuality. Like, um talking about their passions like uh it's like being free with their hopes and their dreams and like not being confused about who they are with this I, I don't know i feel like this has to do with like people's sexuality and things like especially for women that are really scared to like wear makeup and lingerie and to express their self create creatively with like their body and their their hair and their you know it's like this person is like um helping people with like their natural growth and stuff like that like it's like you gotta love yourself and, and love the body that you're in and 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 things like that it's like i want to say like trying to helping people get confident so again it's like okay so you got the Okay, so you got the nine of swords, the nine of discs, and then the wheel of fortune in the reverse. So, yes. So, what does this say? This is basically saying, like, you could have been going fucking crazy, berserk in your mind. Like, even having nightmares of, like, financial ruin and, like, you not being able to make it. Like, you losing everything. You not being able to live this lifestyle that you have accumulated for yourself. Do you understand? But, but, the wheel of fortune just so happened to turn in your direction. Like, shit was like this for a minute. But then just as soon as you thought this. This shit was going to hit rock bottom. As soon as you thought shit was going to hit rock bottom. And this motherfucker was about to lunch out on you or do whatever. It's just like. You turn. You turn lemon. And, you turn lemon uh, uh, seeds and um, um, uh, 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 peach pits into some fucking lemon peach 
fucking uh, uh, Zinger lemonade or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you literally took some peach pits and some lemon seeds and went and planted those seeds in your yard. Went and made some motherfucking vodka and shit and just end up making you a spritzer and just like... I don't know, just like shit just ended up catapulting, like in, like shit just ended up going up, like something that it took nothing, it took nothing, it took nothing, what a little bit of needle and some thread and, and your ideas, your creativity and you just grew something out of nothing and I feel like you was sitting up there stressing yourself, stressing yourself, feeling like you wasn't going to make it and all the time. You, it was like you were the star. You're the star the whole time. Like, you don't need no boss. You don't need no manager. You don't need nobody that you feel like if they feel dissatisfaction with your actions and stuff, that you better beware. Oh, you better not ask the boss for no money, man. Fuck your money. I'm about to go get my own money. Like, that's honestly like what I'm feeling. Like, the wheel of fortune has turned in y'all favor. Y'all, I know y'all still about to have a long fucking video. Like, I'm sorry. Leave y'all already know what it is. I gotta give y'all that because y'all are my most viewed sign. So, I always gotta give y'all that extra love. So, what's going on in love with Libra? Because this definitely has to do with business. I don't know but this could have something to do with love too this could be love for y'all it most definitely could you got a separation here you got a separation and again we already see that someone is going their own way we, we already realized that with the five of cups like you're over with whatever type of dissatisfaction whatever type of disappointment was going on here i'm over i don't give a fuck bye Look, you surrendering to the separation like I'm totally giving into this. Like, I'm cool with being separated. It's like, I'm cool with being by my own. Like, I feel free. Do y'all feel that? Don't you feel free? It's like, I could finally release and just, like, get all of that shit out of my system. How many of y'all feel like I really got this shit out of my system, especially in love? Like, whatever the bullshit is, how many of y'all really feel like y'all got y'all got this shit out of your system, huh? God damn. I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with it. Tell me what else is going on with Libra. Tell me what else is going on with Libra. And love. Okay, we about to wrap this up for my babies. Because I know it's been long. It's been a long time coming. But I know a change gonna come. Okay, you got the red roses. You got the enchantment. Okay. Alright. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, they okay. So this did come come in the reverse. They just said um that y'all not giving in to roses this year. So I don't know if like maybe some people in the past felt like they could just give you roses and and could just easily make up and just like no, nah, I'm not giving in the roses this year. You got the um eggs in the reverse too. So you're not giving in to roses. I don't feel like you have you you want to have any more kids like I it's like I, I ain't I'm over that shit like maybe you might have wanted to have kids I don't want to have no fucking kids no more like I'm good like if you just got one I'm fine with that bitch I don't need no whole bunch of kids running around and then I feel like at the end of the day like y'all are hot in the nest egg like somebody has some money stashed away somewhere and they're hiding that shit um I you know I feel like you're really sitting on it. Like, you're really sitting on it. Like, it's so out of sight. Like, you, I feel like you personally might have forgot that you have that money sitting somewhere. You know what I'm saying? That incubation right there, it's like, that shit is incubating somewhere where motherfuckers can't even see that shit. You know? Or y'all might have something. Hold on. Libra? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Are y'all telling me? Are y'all telling me that y'all might have been? So, maybe in the past situation, y'all separated, you surrendered to that shit, you let the shit go. Are you being enchanted by something right now that you're sitting on? You got you a little nest egg, something, little secret over there on the side, a little stash that you ain't telling nobody about. You know what I'm saying? Is that what's going on? A little something, a little secret on the side that you ain't... It's like you don't even want out in the... I feel like you just want to enjoy this shit. Like, if it's something like that, it's like, I just want to enjoy it. Like, I ain't even trying to, you know, like, everybody just need to know that I'm single. Because you are single. And I feel like you are surrendering to being single. I don't... 
I don't feel like you're in a rush to be in no relationship or whatever. Like, whatever it is, you're just trying to enjoy whatever. Um, what is this saying? This is rainbow. The renewal. I definitely don't feel like there's any renewal of any relationships at all. At all. At all. And again, like... Mm, and then you got the grapes. You got satisfaction. So, in love, uh, what I'm getting here is like, you're surrendering to this thought of just being separated. I feel like you're good. You're definitely, like, satisfied. I feel like you feel better on your own. You, I feel like you feel sexually free as fuck. Like, you feel, I want, I want to say, like, you beaming with that star energy. Like, your wishes are being granted or something like that. And I really want to say, like, God bless you, especially if you're stepping into your sexuality and your sexual freedom and you just being able. I'm not talking about no slutty things. I'm just talking about being able to tastefully express yourself sexually. Because a lot of people uh, are very timid and shy and scared. And you know what I'm saying? And. Listen, we're not going to go into that. That, that, that. That's for a morning slide. But um, what I'm seeing here is I don't feel like you're accepting no apologies. You're not accepting. I don't feel like you're gullible at all. You know what I'm saying? There doesn't need to be any renewal. You're okay with the satisfaction of being separated. You're thoroughly surrendering to this shit. And like everything is okay. And if you guys are talking to somebody, Libra, it is so in the cut and it's so private and you want it to just sit on it right now with this incubation. You just want to sit on it and just enjoy it and just be enchanted by this person and just enjoy it. I don't need everybody in my business. I feel like it's, it's some level of regal growth here that is very mature and not about the bullshit. Not this year. I'm so tired. I'm tired. I'm not begging to stay in no financial situation. Look, if y'all don't want to work with me, I don't want to work with you, bitch. I'll go start me a... <laughs> I'm going to start me a little full OnlyFans page. Uh, OnlyFans page. Listen, I will get it popping, bitch. I'll make my 50K, bitch. You ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Let me get one last little thing for Libra. Then I'm about to do it. What's some last little guidance for Libra? We're about to do Shit, this damn video going to be a damn hour. Give me guidance for Libra, please. Coming up out the door. Ooh, 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 Libra. I knew y'all was doing something in the cut. Girl, you got the roses. You got the roses. You got the roses, but you got the nine of spades with that shit. And then you got the six of heart with the house. So basically, the roses with the house means like I definitely feel like um I definitely feel, okay, it says the roses represents rugged beauty and like pay attention to your health and stuff like that. I get that. But um, what that is basically saying is like you've definitely been through hardships. You got to understand as beautiful as roses are, it definitely has its thorns. But roses is one of the most expensive and most world-renowned popular flowers that there is on the face of the fucking earth. Do you understand? Every every flower would prefer to be a fucking rose. A rose is still a rose. So it don't matter how many failures, how many hardships that you've gone through in your life, baby. You are still a motherfucking rose. Don't ever fucking forget that. Remember the six of hearts. There's a male energy coming towards y'all, Libra. Especially for the female energies. There is um, a male coming to y'all. And for the male energies, for the male Libras, let me tell you something. You, my dear... Are something special. You are something special. Don't never let nobody tell you what you can't do. As long as you stay balanced and stay in peace with yourself. And you believe in what you are and what you can do. Baby, success is coming to you, baby. It says this house denotes success in all ventures. If in present... You say, if present condition is unpleasant, the future will be happy and prosperous. It also predicts marriage. Mm. What's this last one? You got the lightning. It says the lightning um denotes surprises. Surprises. And then the six of clubs. It says it well, okay, it says disagreeable in accordance to the distance. We ain't worrying about that. It says the lightning denotes surprises. 
And then the six of clubs represents like um like a success in success in business. It represents like um things transitioning smoothly, you know, like putting a lot of hard work in doing whatever it is that you can to just make sure things are just going real, real smooth. Let me give you a little something with that. Okay, the Six of Clubs, traditionally a card of movement, progress, completion in business or social matters. An opportunity to resolve a problem and take responsibilities for a problem or a situation by doing what is necessary to ensure the success. Communion, sharing one's thoughts and ideas, negotiations, banter, talk, and other forms such as communication, hand gestures, body language, the media, and written word. Good counsel, trusted advice, knowledge. Reading, studying, learning. Reading, studying, and learning. Reading, studying, and learning. So what I'm getting here, I definitely feel like there's going to be a surprise romance here. I feel like after everything that you have gone through, Libra, especially in love, I feel like somebody is just going to come out of nowhere and it's going to shock the shit out of you. Shock the shit out of you. Rose indicates beauty and rugged health. Yeah, you've been through a lot. This is somebody that could have definitely had some insecurities because they just had it rough. You know what I'm saying? As beautiful as you are, you, you ain't had it easy. You ain't had it easy at all. But there's a lot of love and security coming into this house. A lot of love. Right? A lot of love. There's going to be a lot of communication. You guys, just... You know, do what you got to do. Don't let your thorns outshine your petals, baby. Do not let your thorns outshine your petals. Be so beautiful. Listen, be the rose that you are. Once a motherfucker realizes that they got a rose in their presence, they ain't worried about them thorns. You understand? Because every time I pick up a rose, I watch out for them thorns. I can pick it up gently. And you deal with it with care, right? Don't ever forget that. The right one gonna deal with you with care. I love it, I love it, I love it. Girl, surrender, surrender, surrender. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Hit the like button. Peace, peace, peace.